We've come to Ram Village in the Tokai Ward, located on the southern coastline from the district headquarters at Palmalmal. It's a small hamlet of about 500 men, women and children. At one end of the village, Chris Konkule is nursing a new generation of cocoa trees. It's a community initiative of a small church group, but it has now gained more members from the village. The small group is one of other similar groups that have surfaced in the district. The area used to be a logging region in the 1990s, but when the loggers left, most of the services that the village used to have scaled down. Since the logging company has moved on, the village has turned to cocoa as a means of earning an income. So, you know, I'm a permanent nursery bloom plant. At the same time, I'm planting bad wood on the here. So from here now, I'm black and distributing me along all farmers the community now. Farming cocoa in this part of the district has been very difficult. High freight costs and unstable cocoa prices and lack of technical advice from cocoa experts have made cocoa a crop difficult to farm. But despite all the negativity, the villagers here have not given up. It's only achievable by mixing to be the holy man I may walk. Uh, yes. board is here to stay, me by me finish tomorrow, but board will be here to stay. And uh, Mibla got all programs where it's tough. Uh, time Mibla establish him or cluster group like Yubla, Yubla walking finish. A few meters away from the village, a new piece of land has been cleared to make way for the construction of a new village cocoa nursery. Similar interest like this is happening in Palmalmal, where the large amount of old palm developments are taking place. But not all the locals want to allow old palm into their customary land. Over the weekend, the Cocoa Board of Papua New Guinea handed over nursery items following the signing of an MOA in February. The items will be used to establish new cocoa nurseries for cloned cocoa seedlings to be supplied to interested farming groups. Um, it come up in some policy that every marriage family in Pomio only must get at least 100 cocoa trees. The district's economy has grown over the past decade, prompted by oil palm growth. But while all eyes are now on the crop as the main revenue driver for the district, not everyone wants to grow it. Farmers like Chris and others want to grow cocoa instead. And with help from the district's administration and the presence of the cocoa board in the district, Chris and his fellow farmers hope to make a difference in their village life, slowly but surely. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.